Hello and welcome to Promise Gaming and more Plague Inc. Evolved Custom Scenarios. Let's take a look at the list. We have just finished the computer virus, so I guess next would be Last Judgment. Which feels a little bit uh, familiar to something we already did, doesn't it? Or wait, that already was Last Judgment. No, never mind, this is the one we did. Aging Disease. That sounds like the next one on our list. A disease that accelerates the aging process. Features, custom transmission traits, tons of custom symptoms, and level progression abilities. Okay, sure, let's give it a shot, why not? It is a prion, I believe. Metabolic jump, genetic mimic, aquasite, extremophile, transstasis. It said there was a ton of symptoms. Let's go for the, uh, let's go for the symptostasis. I am curious. Maybe that will work for us or not. Aging disease. Yeah, sure. We'll just keep it as is. Or maybe I should have called it... Well, no. Wait. What's a good engine? Well, hmm. I was thinking like Benjamin Button or something, but that's the exact opposite. The whole point is you're aging younger. Never mind. That wouldn't have worked at all. You are a new prion. To win, you must evolve and spread. Blah, blah, blah. Nothing unique to start us off. How about Egypt? No. How about the Balkan states? Because I had some Greek food for dinner, it was delicious, and now it is on my mind, so we're starting in Greece. Aging disease begins. Okay. That is a pretty standard start, nothing unique or customized there. We have saliva, we have fomites, we have blood, water, and air. I thought there was a ton of uh, customized transmission, but it appears these are some pretty standard options. Although pretty good ones, not gonna lie. Symptoms are completely blacked out. Well, now I regret taking the symptostasis, but it always comes in eventually. We need to get some abilities. Aging 1. Unlocks faster aging symptoms. All level 1 aging symptoms required before accelerating the aging process even further. Presumably, taking this will unlock the symptoms that I so desperately desire. That's fine. Um, a prion, slow, subtle, takes a long time to react to every new evolution. That's fine by me. We should probably go for fomites, I'm guessing? We did start off in the Balkan states, which is rural and not wealthy, but it is neighboring a lot of urban wealthy areas, so fomites might be a pretty good start for us. That's going to take 8 DNA, though. Actually, these are all pretty solid for different reasons. Fomites for the wealthy and urban, blood for poor, saliva just as a general rule, water and air. Lots of good transmission. Kind of wish I'd taken transtasis, actually, because I probably would like to take all of those. Still, we'll know more when we get a look at the symptoms tree. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and take the saliva. Sure, why not? A little extra infectivity to work with sounds pretty good to me. As far as the rest of our abilities, we do see we have cold, heat, and drug resistance. Again, pretty darn standard. So the transmission is not really customized, but it is a little bit unique for a prion type. But we'll find out more once we see the symptoms tree. In the meantime, though, I am continuing to get some basic resistances, some basic transmission. You know, stuff I know that I'm going to need, no matter what symptoms I end up picking up. Let's see, 3,000 people infected, rising relatively quickly, that's good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick up some water, because the Balkan states are humid. That means that we should spread a little bit faster there. As well as have an opportunity to cross the Mediterranean and get into, I don't know, Africa. Stuff like that. We got an Italy. Good. That's wealthy and urban. So the Fomites are doubly effective there. Got into Turkey. Also good. We're gonna need some heat resistance at some point as well, aren't we? Yeah. Unfortunately, that's a teeny bit more expensive than cold resistance. For some reason. Can't quite figure why. You know, maybe we should go ahead and open up the Symptoms tree because I may want some more severity so that I can get more points. Let's go ahead and pick it up. It's only one uh, DNA right now anyway. Symptoms. Fast forward. Infected age slightly faster, but is noticeable. Is it though? Because it doesn't look to me like it does a whole lot. I'm looking for stat increases. Minuscule. Barely a thing. One point, we'll pick it up. Neural development. The nervous system develops faster, leading to premature cognition. Infected are smarter from an early age. Hmm. Is that uh, going to have a negative impact on my uh, on my cure speed? Vascular development makes the immunity stronger. Physical development. Infected babies start walking at a younger age. 
barely perceivable stat increases across the board, but they are very, very cheap. Very, very cheap indeed. Let's go for that saliva. Presumably there's something really nice to have here in the center. If you can get the blood and the fomites and the saliva all leveled up. Ooh, the creepy girl laugh. That's always fun. Now we're in Russia. I probably want to get some heat resistance, actually, pretty early on. There's going to be a few more points, like 13, I think, 13 DNA. We're not gaining a lot of DNA at all right now, which is interesting. We are spreading remarkably slowly. Now, a big part of that is because we're playing a prion. And as I said before, one of the unique factors of the prion is that uh, whenever you pick up a new transmission or symptom or ability, it has a delayed effect before it... Um, before you start to see the results throughout your the world. So, it's a bit slower as a result. I'm going to go for that heat resistance, absolutely. I think we are going to need some help in order to spread through Africa a little bit faster. The Balkan States is not a typical place you'd want to start off, but why not? I'm cocky. Start somewhere new. Have a little fun. You know, it's, it's great. Okay, we're getting into China. Getting in through Eastern Europe. Festival of Love in Poland. Well, it's a good thing I got the saliva infection then. You're all gonna have a very bad time. That'll teach you for kissing. My mama taught me. Never kiss a girl. They got cooties. Fomites? More fomites? Or do we want to go for the air? I think I want to go for the air. Unlock the planes. Not that it's impossible to travel by plane without air unlocked, but it certainly does help. It also will help us to spread a little bit faster in the arid regions, and that includes a lot of this desert area, like Saudi Arabia, Northern Africa, and so on. A tsunami hits Central America. Well, that sucks for them. I do have water infectivity, which should speed things along down there. We got into Canada. So the cold regions are spreading relatively quickly now. Not too bad. Cold regions, by the way, you should notice, are where a lot of the wealthy countries are located. So, I honestly think that, technically, starting in cold regions is better for the cure progress. But everyone likes heat, because it spreads really quickly. There's a lot of population in the hot areas. Calm down. And then, uh, you're able to spread by air if you get into Saudi Arabia. It's really solid. Really solid indeed. Do I go for more fomites? No. I'm gonna go for the air, too. Again, should spread me a little bit faster in the arid regions. Now, again, I think that a lot of these transmission options are really good, so Transstasis probably would have worked fine on this scenario. But, with that being said, it looks to me like some of these symptoms are going to be ludicrously cheap. One DNA for these things, like, why not? Let's go for the water, too. I'm gonna go ahead and pick some of these up now. Let's go for vascular development and physical development. Barely any perceivable change in our severity. We can now level up aging, too which I will grab, that allows for a lot of new symptoms. Senility, senal, senal, oh gosh, senile is the base word. Senility, senality, oh gosh. I've actually never heard this used in this way before. Uncooperative behavior makes infected harder to cure. Sleepy, less time working on the cure. Prostate, inflammation, ouch, that's, no, hor no, don't touch my prostate. Wrinkles, oh, I picked it up accidentally. Skin wrinkles at an early age. High tension. Makes infected more worried. What does that mean? Very severe is what it means. Sure, I'll pick that up. I want more severity. Vascular decay. Less and less blood vessels. Ocular degradation. Harder to cure. Delusions. Again, harder to cure. Okay. Well, the vascular decay is surprisingly infective, despite the fact that it really should have no impact on infectivity at all, but why not? Let's pick it up. More infective, more severity. Let's also go for the shaky hands. Again, a little bit more severity. The reason I'm going for the severity, even though I know for sure it means we're going to get detected, is that um, I would like to get more DNA when I pop these red bubbles, because we've infected a lot of the world, and we have not been getting a lot of DNA, and that is a bit of a problem for me. So, okay. They've started working on the cure. No surprises there. But there are a lot of symptoms to reduce that, so... I could go for that. The extreme bio aerosol is pretty dang good instead, so I'm gonna do that there, yeah. I don't feel like I need more fomites and stuff. We've already gotten a pretty good head start in a lot of the wealthy countries. China is now working on a cure effort, that seems fine. China has shut down their land borders, irrelevant to me. Uh, I think we go for more, well, hmm, do we go for, I'm gonna go for aging three, unlock even more options and just see what happens. Liver deficiency. 
Uh, a bit more severe, a bit more infective. Epidermal decay, skin ages fast, very unpleasant. Tooth decay, people will need dentures. Mental deterioration, more neurons die, affects memory, and is apparently a little lethal, whereas the liver is not. That doesn't make sense. I'm gonna go for delusions. I'm gonna go for ocular degradation. I'm gonna go for senil senility. Sleepy. Um, and prostate, because prostate, why not? Suicidal thoughts. Okay, this is where we start unlocking some lethality if I want it. Stomachal? That's, is that a word? Stomachal? Discomfort. Infected complain about stomachal discomfort. Cataracta. Cataracts. Cataracta. I've always just heard it as cataracts, but okay. Reduced vision makes research even slower. Sure, we'll go for it. There we go. How are we looking as far as the world? Morocco, West Africa, Algeria, and Central Africa. So basically, just a bunch of stuff with land borders. No islands are missing. That's good. There's the mental deterioration. Here's the problem. Um, we're infecting most of the world, and all of these symptoms have very little DNA for us. Oh, sorry. They cost very little DNA, but they have very little stat increases. So I'm actually glad, then, that I got Symptostasis, because I'm kind of wondering if this scenario would be nearly impossible without it. I'm gonna go for the Aging 4 and just get all of our options available to us, and let's start going nuts on some symptoms. Alzheimer. Wow, that's lethal. Neuronal disconnection. Brain death. Holy crap. These things are super freaking cheap because of Symptostasis. Blindness. Vascular cell death. Cardiac arrest. Physical weakness. Urinal bleeding. My god. Gosh, some of these are horrifying. Well, <clears throat> um... Huh. Well, I don't see a necrosis option. We need to get into Morocco. And I don't want to pick up so much lethality so fast that I am otherwise unable to, uh... That I'm going to be killing so fast that I can't actually keep win the game. That would be sucky. That said, we have 80 summit uh, points left, so let's go for genetic hardening. Let's slow it down. Anything else that would slow down the cure? Just death. Death would slow down the cure. A lot. It's pretty It's pretty permanent, from my understanding. I could be wrong. Let's go for blindness. That makes the cure research even harder. A little bit lethal, though. I need you to spread faster in things like West Africa. All right, screw it. More heat resistance. It's gonna take a little while before that takes full effect, but we should see its results pretty strongly. There it is. Okay, global research focused on a cure. Now we need to start killing people ASAP. So let's go for the brain death and Alzheimer, make things harder to cure. Let's go for the vascular cell death to pick up the extra mutation chance. All right, now we have a ton of lethality working on us. Liver deficiency, not very impressive compared to what we have been doing. Cancer risk, highly mutagenic, sounds good to me. We're also gonna pick up urinal bleeding. That didn't lead to anything cool. How about physical weakness? Nope, how about tooth decay? There it is, osteoporosis. Bones become brittle, highly increasing the chance of being broken. Pick that up. Suicidal thoughts, insanity. They often refuse to be examined. The prion, again, it's going to take a long time before all of these take effect, so we want to start them earlier. Basically, the trick of the prion is just that it, it screws up your timing in the game. It screws it up a lot. But we'll be fine anyway. There goes cardiac arrest. We should be getting quite a bit of DNA coming through now. Let's go for insanity. Slow things down even further. doop a doop doop Greenland is in anarchy. Screw you, Greenland. It's very satisfying to be able to say that. Let's go for the stomachal discomforts. I see crap here, excretion. Digestive problems and senility makes infected excrete in random places around the house. Disgusting. Intestinal obstruction. All this extra lethality doesn't do a whole lot for me. I'm gonna save the points and uh, just try to get a better score with um, the genetic reshuffles. Get one. Bump things down to 30%. It's not a huge improvement, but we'll take it anyway. There's a disconnection. Let's go for another one. Down to 26%. We've almost killed the world. Very easy. Very, very, very easy. Hmm. Alright, we'll just pick up everything we can. Get as much score as possible. There's the fomites. 
have fun with that. And that should pretty much be the end of all things. Just about three million left. One million. Aging disease to eradicate humans. And gone. All right, not bad. That was pretty easy for us. One star? What? What's the score threshold on this thing? I guess we did take a long time, but it didn't feel that bad to me. Hmm. All right, there obviously was a better way to do things, but we only got 26% cure progress, so we won pretty soundly, but there was definitely a more effective way to do things. But hey, it's my first time playing the custom scenario. I don't know. All right. Well, either way, uh, what did I think about the scenario? Overall, pretty basic as far as the um, as far as the transmission and the abilities. Kind of gating things behind the aging process is okay in the abilities. That's not a bad way to do things. The symptoms were pretty good though. I feel like overall that was really unique. Here's the major flaw of this thing. I feel like symptostasis might be an absolute necessity if you want to win. Transstasis would definitely get you around a heck of a lot faster, but it takes you a long time to get to all the lethal options. By then you're going to have so many symptoms that the cost should go way, way, way up. And it could be very, very difficult to win. Now, of course, I haven't tested that. I took some symptostasis, and it seems to have worked pretty darn well. Even some of the most lethal uh, symptoms were extremely cheap, like 60 and A. No problem. So it seems to me, in order to balance this out, maybe this uh, scenario should not allow you to choose your genes, and you should instead rely on a little bit of mutation. Maybe? I don't know. It's a thought. But overall, yeah, I enjoyed it. I thought that was pretty good and had some uh, had some good concepts behind it. Could just use a little bit of rebalancing around the symptostasis or the lack thereof, frankly. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, then hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.